Chapter 8 of Little Tales of the Desert by Ethel Twycross Foster. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Reading by Matt Perard. Chapter 8 A Strange Capture. One warm day in February, a great lazy rattlesnake, over three feet long, glided out from under a broad flat rock. It slowly wound its way through the sagebrush and cactus until it found an open space where the hot rays of the noonday sun fell uninterrupted. Here it stretched itself out at full length and, after enjoying the warmth of the sunshine for a little while, gradually grew drowsy and at last fell asleep. Exactly one hour later, a faint rustling sound was heard. From behind the same rock, peeped out an excited-looking little creature. It was no other than our little friend, the road-runner. But why so agitated and disturbed? Its little tail was bobbing up and down, and its beautiful bluish-black crest was raised as high as possible. He had spied his lifelong enemy, the rattlesnake. Suddenly, as quickly as he came, he disappeared from sight. He was soon back, carrying in his beak a cactus burr which he placed on the ground near the sleeping snake. Back and forth he went, each time returning with a prickly burr. Before long he had a hedge entirely surrounding poor, unsuspecting Mr. Snake. Then one more burr was brought and quietly dropped on the snake's head. Now the skin of a snake is very sensitive, and he immediately woke up. Of course, his first motion rubbed the delicate skin against the prickly burr. He gave a vicious rattle and started to move away from the troublesome thing. He struck at one side of the hedge, then another. He grew more and more angry. He would try to poke his nose between the burrs, but on being pricked by the sharp points, he would draw back and try in another place. At last, overcome with anger and mortification, he drove his poisonous fangs into his own body and soon died. Mr. Roadrunner, meanwhile, had retreated to a safe distance and was much interested in all that was happening. When sure the snake was dead, he cautiously darted up to the hedge and gave the dead snake a series of sharp pecks with his long beak as an additional safeguard. Then he settled down and ate a portion carrying the best part away to his nest to share with his mate. Now, if that snake had kept his temper and not become excited, he might have realized that by poking his nose under the burrs, he could lift them and get away with only a few scratches. However, there are times when even boys and girls let their anger get the best of them, so why should we expect more wisdom in a poor, foolish snake? Sometimes the snake doesn't kill itself, but only becomes tired out and lies down motionless when the little roadrunner comes over and pecks him to death. There are only a few animals, birds or insects, who can kill a rattlesnake, and the roadrunner does this about as neatly as any. End of chapter 8